Hello, let's play as we are back and we are still playing Legends of Larry, although I keep saying that, so it must be true. Um, all we need now from the convenience store is this. Pick it up, Larry. You grab a lovely cardboard box of fine wine. You wonder how they can make a profit on this stuff, selling it at only a dollar a gallon. Yeah, it's probably cut with other things. Let's give this guy some money. You give him the money with a pleasant thanks a lot, Sudan. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh, here you go. Hey, Mister! I hope you enjoy your heavyweight industrial gauge peppermint flavored striped lubricated colored lab latex vermicidal small size lumber. Yells the clerk. Thanks, Sudan. We're gonna miss you. Hey, the phone's ringing. Oh boy. I wonder who that could be. Hey! What are you doing, Larry? You don't ignore a ringing phone. Go back outside. <laughs> Perhaps Larry's seen the movie Phone Booth. <laughs> Yay, ring ring. Let's see who's on the phone. You pick up the telephone and hear a... Hang on, I'm going to pause it because my dad is now just singing around outside. So, just a moment. Let's go back in. Alright, sorry about that. My father decided to be very loud, so I decided to pause while he was... <laughs> Stop it, it's not that funny. He thinks he sounds good. Um, so yes, let us continue with the phone call. Um, <coughs> you pick up the telephone and hear a familiar voice. Hello, Larry, this is Ubu the Clown. I was just sitting here in the circus wearing your leisure suit and thinking about you, if you know what I mean. And he means sex. Um, why don't you forget this silly game and come over to my place? I'll slip into my giant floppy shoe and we'll curl up in front of the fireplace. And I'll si stick in our copy of kinky69.avi. You know your zipper icon has always turned me on. So bring along a big honky horn and come play with my big red nose. Pretty soon, we'll both get excited and ride miniature bicycles like we always do. Bye, Larry. See you soon. Oh, he hung up on us. Ah. Uh, wow, Larry most, must really like the circus. Most wrong phone call ever. <laughs> oh, you know, it could be worse. We could have come up with something completely perverted and, you know... Oh, yeah, because that wasn't at all. Yeah, no, no, that's a good point. Yeah, it could have been much worse. Yes. You hang up the telephone and wipe the sweat off your hands. And if we go this way, we'll go to the disco. Or to the outside of the disco. The bouncer is physically well-developed, but you're sure he's not as wise as you are in the ways of women. And he appears to have breasts, in my opinion. Uh, I th yeah, I think he's just very, uh, he's got very large pectoral muscles, but yeah, he certainly seems quite, uh, quite top-heavy. Yes. Let's have a little chat to him. This disco really looks like a swinging place, you say to Pick Hinkle. How's about you letting me in? Either show your membership card or get lost, scumbreath. It seems he's uninterested in chit-chat, Larry. It's funny how that all your American voices are turning out to be the same for all these various men, but oh well. I'm sorry, I just have, I just have one generic New York accent. Yes. I, I don't know if New York is lost wages, but oh well. Um, you whistle loudly for a taxi. Let's go visit somewhere else. I'll do a different voice for this taxi driver. <laughs> you don't have to. But, you know, I just thought it was an interesting observation. The cab driver looks at you and says, Oh, we forgot to see the bomb. Damn it. But, what? you know, like, we got, we got the wine. He's, oh, yeah. He's either... Ugh, he's gonna take it from us. Damn it. Anyway. Oh, you, dear. Say your line. Hey, what's that you got in your coat there? Is that wine? Oh, we're being served by Mickey Mouse. Isn't that wonderful? 
Before you can move, the cabbie grabs your precious bottle of your pr precious box of wine and guzzles it all down. Oh my god, Larry, hang on! Oh dear, this isn't gonna end well. Oh dear. And um, I don't think we've saved. <laughs> no! Brace yourself, Larry. He's swerving all over the road. So this is why you don't get into a cab that's driven by Mickey Mouse. <laughs> exactly. It seems a bridge abundant has brought your evening in Lost Wages to a sudden, final, and complete halt. Oh, no airbag, eh? Remember, Larry, friends don't let cabbies dr dr <laughs> drive drunk. Oh, dear. Um, we didn't let him. He grabbed the wine out of our hands. And... However, we, we've actually done a, a whole lot since we last saved. So um, I think we'll stop the video here and we'll start the next video from where I've caught, caught the game up. So, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so I'll see you guys soon. You want to say goodbye late, late for now? Ta-ta for now, folks. There we go. All right. See you later.